So let's talk about the Warriors. They're back in Boston right now for the NBA Finals. They are so close to that championship. Audrey, they can taste it. Oh, I think we all can. NBC Bay Area's Anthony Flores joins us live in Boston with the look at Game 6. Anthony, I have to ask you, what's the vibe like out there? Is Boston getting nervous? Well, first of all, hello, ladies, and good evening from Boston. Audrey, you worked here, so I don't need to tell you. Boston is a great sports town, but there is a lot of nervous energy. On the way over to our arena, our Uber driver, who's a Celtics fan, said, oh, we're going to lose tomorrow. Yeah, he has all the confidence in the Warriors winning and not the Celtics. The Warriors are just one win away from their fourth title since 2015. They lead the Celtics three games to two in this NBA Finals heading into tomorrow's game six. Now today, both teams at the practice court at the Garden. There's a lot of pressure played in the NBA Finals, but both teams seemed very relaxed during shoot around. Now closing out opponents has not been easy for the Warriors this postseason. They failed to close out the previous three series in the first attempt, and they expect tomorrow to be the hardest game of the season. It is very hard to close out a series, and this is a very good team, and we know they're going to play with a sense of desperation. So for us to match that or exceed that, it's going to take the most effort we've had to give all year. It's just not easy to, to you know, uh, close anybody out in the playoffs. So uh, there's no common thread. We just, you know, we're going to have to play really well to, to win, simple as that. All right, so game six is tomorrow. The Warriors are hoping their flight back to San Francisco is for a victory parade and not game seven at Chase Center. Live in Boston, Anthony Flores, NBC, Bay Area. Oh, that would be so nice. Victory parade, absolutely. All right, Anthony. That would be nice. Thanks.